Common table sugar, or sucrose, is a hydrocarbon produced by plants as a food source. The combination of the monosaccharides, glucose and fructose, creates the polysaccharide sucrose. Crystallized sugar dates back to classical India's Gupta Empire around the year 350 AD. Transported westward along the Silk Road, sugar made the merchants of Venice and the Arab middlemen who sold them the sugar extremely wealthy. Muslim Spain and Mesopotamia became sugar-growing centers, as well as southern Sicily. Spaniards acquired the plant during the Reconquista of Spain. From there, it began to be planted in other Spanish possessions, such as the Canary Islands and the Portuguese Azores. These malaria-infested islands killed Europeans in large numbers, but not the African slaves imported conveniently enough from the nearby West African coast. Sugar proved to be more valuable than gold or human lives. Columbus's voyage across the Atlantic at roughly the same time as the Canaries were being planted with sugar resulted in Christendom suddenly having access to millions of acres of sweet, sweet future sugar plantations. Plantations need workers, and the Atlantic slave trade was a direct result of Europe's sweet tooth. Conditions were brutal on the plantations, and there was a constant fear of rebellion by the landowners. The need to prevent rebellion led to skin tone and race, as we understand it today, being connected to enslavement for the very first time in human history. Institutionalized racism is a direct result of the sugar trade. Put down those jelly beans. They are stained by the blood of slaves.